So I think I've cracked the code for getting your roulette system reviewed by the CEG Dealer School. So if you have a system that you love and you want to get reviewed, keep watching. I'll show you how to boost the chances of getting your system reviewed today on Jack Ace. What up donkeys, Jack Hayes here with jackhayes.com where I talk about my three favorite topics, gambling, crypto, and STEM. So if you know me and you know my channel, you know that I've cataloged over 200 roulette systems reviewed by the CEG Dealer School. And while cataloging them, I've noticed a lot of shared common traits between the systems that were reviewed. And I'm pretty sure I've identified a number of ways you can boost the odds of you getting your system reviewed. One way you can help ensure your system is reviewed is by giving it a low buy-in with a low average bet. Having a low limit system with a good number of bullets is a great way to get noticed. There are a ton of systems reviewed by CEG that have an average bet of over $100. But are you really playing roulette and betting more than $100 at a time? Most people playing roulette are betting around $20 per spin. Even though the most interesting systems will cover a lot of the field with green or black action, the low limit systems will appeal to the vast majority of gamblers looking for something realistic. And on the flip side, you could go balls to the wall and make a super high roller system. There have been a few systems that have really shattered any realistic betting expectations, like this one called Falcon's Revenge. Not only does this system have a $16,000 buy-in, but when Alex busted, his response was, 64,000 please, Good will 4X Martingale that? So yeah, he bought in for another $64,000 so he could 4X Martingale. Obviously, this is not a system that even 1% of their audience could play, but it does make for a good video. So, as much as I hate to admit it, having something interesting about your betting pattern will increase your chances of getting picked. But unfortunately, this is usually going to get your system a lower score from both me and David. What we're going to do is, on the third dozen, we're going to do $40 each on 25, 27, 28, 30, 31, 33. You're going to put $10 on 23, $5 on 20, 23 split. Wow. Can't wait for Papa to do the donks on this one. Oh my then God. Then you're going to do the splits on 13, 17, 17, Ugh. 21, 16, 20. And then you're gonna do twenty dollars on eighteen. It's a lot of work. You're gonna dude. do five, twenty-five dollars on four seven. You're getting your steps in, dude. Twenty dollars on six eight twelve. It's better than hiking. I know. Six eight twelve, sir. Six eight twelve. And yeah. then we're gonna do thirty dollars each on three and eleven. Okay. Four hundred fifty dollar average bet. Wow. Hey, uh, can I take your sheet away and see if you can repeat this? <laughs> I think I can. What do you got to put it like right here on your palm mm -hmm. or something? What's going on with this? Simple betting patterns are more DTF friendly but complicated and interesting patterns are hard to keep track of if you've had a few beers. Yeah, it might be more interesting to pick two nine number sectors of the wheel, and that might increase your chances of getting reviewed. But if I'm playing in a casino or an ETG, I don't wanna waste my time figuring out which numbers I need to bet. Instead, I would just bet an even money bet that covers 18 different numbers. I mean, statistically, it's the same bet. So Alex Kim has personally told me that whenever they use the word Martingale in the video title, the views shoot through the roof and I've experienced the same thing on my channel. In fact, you should watch my video on Martin Gale once you're finished with this one. But really, any progression system is gonna help your system stand out from the others. And there's a ton of progression systems out there like Fibonacci, CEG likes something called Double Your Lost Martin Gale. It literally, we're gonna pick $10 on one to one. If that loses, we go 20, then 60, then 180, then 500, then 1300, then yeah, 3000. And Christopher Mitchell, who was banned from YouTube for selling his systems, was famous for creating Mitchell Gale. But a lot of times I'll Mitchell Gale, which means you double and add some money on top of it. I personally don't think you need to get any more complicated than Martingale, but if you want to help your system stand out more, you can add whatever kind of goofy twist to it. If your betting progression is too complicated, you might get dinged in your rating, but that might be the price you have to pay for getting your system reviewed. Now, Alex and David probably aren't going to make false claims about your system, but you can. If you make outrageous claims about your system, you can give them a good clickbaity title for their video and they can wipe their hands of any responsibility if it turns out to be garbage. I've seen a bunch of BS claims from system authors who said they quit their jobs and made $40,000 or more. And I'm positive these claims are complete lies. But if you're the one making these claims, who are they to refute them? I wanted to toss my hat in for a strategy I've used in Lake Tahoe casinos to make approximately $40,000 to date. And that's with me going about four times a year, leaving with three to five thousand dollars up. They need a flashy way to showcase your system without outright lying. If you provide a somewhat realistic story of how you won thousands using a system, they'll eat it up and positively use it in their video. 
And by far the most important factor is the system's name. It's the first thing they're gonna see when they're going through the list of submissions, so you need to catch their eye. And there are many, many ways to do this. The first thing you can do is use Alex or David or the names of any CEG staff member in your title. And there are a ton of examples of this. There's Alex BD Energy, Lucky Lauren Bump and Grind, Alex ATM Machine, and DGen Like Alex. A lot of Alex's in there. Another thing you can do is reference something, anything, in pop culture. Some of my favorites are Squid Games, Roulette and Chill, All Disco No Panic, and Double KJ, Double Korean Jesus. Hey, hey! Stop f***ing with Korean Jesus! He ain't got time for your problems! He busy with Korean sh And as I mentioned before, anything with the word Martingale in it is going to be pure gold. For this, we have Double Your Lost Martingale, Multi-level Martingale, Martingale Lover, and Double Street Martingale. And a nearly surefire way of getting your system review is to make a sexual reference in the title. The best examples of this are Big Energy, DTF, Rainbow Kiss, Grower Not a Shower, Rusty Trombone, Extends, and Bunny Ranch. And another thing that works really well is by using a phrase that's often used in the show. Some of my favorites are 777 Broke and Ballad of the Broke Kino. 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 Six to Midnight. Six to Midnight. And my favorite. Oh, look at you, buddy. Look at you, buddy. Look at you, buddy. Yeah, look at you, buddy. And there you have it. Using the techniques I've shown you, you can definitely get your system reviewed by CEG. And if they don't review it, you can always submit your system to me. Just enter your system into the Roulette Bet Analyzer tool. The link is here. Take some screenshots and submit them to me. Tell me the name of your system, how much to buy in for, when to walk, and I'll try to get around to reviewing it. If you enjoyed this video, remember to smash the like button and subscribe. Always gamble responsibly, never play triple zero roulette, and peace out, donkeys. Oh.